Performance Standard 3 is Instructional Strategies. Student learning is promoted by the use of effective research-based strategies. Some key indicators are making the lesson engaging and relevant, building upon prior knowledge, learning goals are constantly reinforced, and technology is used. This video will highlight a few different strategies that teachers use at Eastside. PSYOP is an effective collection of strategies that target English learners' needs in order to acquire academic knowledge as they develop English language proficiency. PSYOP components include using strategies for new material and having students interact with one another. These two components are easily incorporated. Building background knowledge and emphasizing key vocabulary will help students meet their language objectives. Other components to focus on include giving time for practice and application of new knowledge. This is critical not only for English language learners, but for all learners. SIAP incorporates mindful grouping and uses meaningful preparation. When grouping students, think about where they score on the access test. Also take into consideration their academic progress. You can mold lessons to fit many skills. Using the SIAP components will help you grow lifelong learners. Eastside teachers provide the range of experiences and the instruction necessary to help children become good readers and writers. Reading and writing are interrelated. What is learned in one area makes it easier to learn in the other. During shared reading, an enlarged text like a big book or poem is used so all children can see. The children participate in purposeful reading and learn critical concepts of how print works. This demonstrates early reading strategies such as word-by-word -word matching and provides an opportunity to behave like a reader. This word that's highlighted with green is quiet. Um, um, let's see, Jacqueline. In. In. That word is in. Sit in your seat. In. And we see it again at the bottom. During interactive writing, the teacher and children compose messages and stories that are written using a shared pen technique. This demonstrates concepts of early print, early reading strategies, and how words work. It provides opportunities to plan and construct texts and increases spelling knowledge. Interactive writing provides an authentic setting where the teacher can demonstrate how written language works. Alejandro, can you turn around and say that word to your class? Say that word to your class. What's the beginning sound you hear in dentist? Show me what we hear. D, d, we hear d, dentist, okay? He's going to write it up here, and I want you to practice writing it on your magic notebook or in the sky. And remember, let's practice the letter D one time. We pull back, around, up, and down. During interactive read aloud, the children make sense of the story by asking questions, pointing out things they noticed, as well as making predictions. The teacher integrates higher order questioning skills. The teacher watches and listens to learn about the students as language users and thinkers. The students learn how to inference, make judgments, and use metacognition strategies. This enables them to think deeply about the text as they talk with one another during teacher-created opportunities. Does he write the story or does he draw the pictures? The it's Jillian the farmer. One of her animals is in trouble. Oh my goodness. I want you to turn and talk to your partner. Have you ever had a pet that was sick or in trouble? Turn and talk to your partner about maybe a time when you had an animal that wasn't feeling well. Writing Workshop provides an opportunity for the children to create individual pieces of written text. It builds the ability to write words and use punctuation, and it increases the writer's ability to use different forms of writing. The teacher provides instruction through many lessons and conferences. The teacher has individual conferences with writers and gives selected feedback. Are you still working on the Read this for me. Me and my family went to the fair. Okay, me and my family went to the fair. Now, are you working on page two? Can you tell me a little bit about page two? What's going on on page two? In our co-teaching setting, we start every math block with a number talks, which is implemented by following guidelines created by Sherry Parrish. The problems are predetermined to target a particular strategy, such as breaking into place values or making doubles. The students share answers and processes for solving the problem. Then as a whole group, we look at the different math 
mental math strategies used to compute the problems. A chart of mental math strategies was created for the students to use as a reference. No matter how far out the process seems to be that the student used to work the problem, we always pull it back to mental math strategies. Lastly, the students determine the most effective way to mentally calculate the problem. The most efficient way should always reflect the targeted strategy. 2 plus 8 over here, and 20 plus what over here? And then what happened? 20 and 10 add up to? So it would be 10, and then 30 and 10 of multiples of 10, of course equal 40. What a what a what a what strategy was that that you used to sell? You broke the numbers down. In this lesson, we were working with creating a concrete understanding of decimals to the thousands. Base 10 blocks were used for this lesson with the Q being equal to one whole. Prior to this lesson, the students analyzed the base 10 blocks to determine the value of each block as a decimal and fraction. A link was created to bridge the relationship between decimals, fractions, and prior knowledge of the base 10 number system. At the beginning of the lesson, the chart that was created by the students from the previous day was reviewed. This action set the tone for building on that existing knowledge. During this review, we also looked at the word form of each of the decimals and the meaning of suffix was reviewed. Next, we used place value mats, base 10 blocks, and dry erase markers to work with different decimals. I pulled up a place value work mat from the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives and created a workspace using Active Inspire software. This allowed me to work along with the students on the active board. The students were asked to push the place value mat to the side of the desk. With the mat to the side, the students had a workplace that allowed the students to write on the desk with dry erase markers. Not only do the students really get engaged by writing on the desk, it is a quick and easy way to check for understanding. The students were given a decimal number. Each student had to create the number using the base 10 blocks. Then the student had to write the number in standard form, word form, and expanded form. The students were never just given the answer. Students were encouraged to make inferences based on what he or she knew about the base 10 number system. I did give a clearer hint when I saw students struggling with the meaning of the different forms. These concepts were reviewed using whole numbers as examples. The overall goal is to create mathematical confidence by utilizing the math concepts and strategies the students already know. Lastly, we checked as a whole class using the active board. As we check for understanding, we never told a student that he or she was wrong. Students are asked to compare their work in the compare their work to the correct answer. This error analysis helps the students learn from his or her mistakes. As a teacher, we need to allow students to make those mistakes because this is the real learning. As teachers, we know that students learn best when they are engaged and excited about learning. One instructional strategy I use often in my classroom is incorporating technology into stations. This not only gives students the opportunity to explore, but it allows them to be accountable for their own learning. Other strategies I use in my classroom is peer helping or peer teaching in students frames. Both of these strategies help students not only learn from one another, but it guides them to get their thinking started and helps those that struggle with having a discussion on what they are learning.